What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Wednesday to you guys. Today, guys, I'm going to be walking you through my design layout for the minivan. But before I get into that, I want to give you guys a quick update on my dentures here. Today marks exactly one week that I got my dentures put in. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about it with you guys and how am I doing with them. Uh, first of all, there are still some minor challenges that I'm going through and trying to work my way through. Uh, the main thing is, or one of the main things is that controlling my saliva. I find that I have to take little pauses like I just now did to uh, manipulate my saliva. Um, I guess in time that will happen naturally, but for now, it's something that I am conscious of and I notice again that I have to kind of take a pause like that to uh, manipulate my saliva. The other thing that um, I notice is that the bottom dentures are a little more challenging to work with than the top ones. I actually took the bottom ones back to the dentist on Friday, two days after I got the dentures in, because the bottom ones was hurting my right side of my gums down there. The way these dentures are made, I don't know if everyone is familiar with them, is they have one, two, three, four, I believe, like sharp edges, and those edges go in between your teeth to help keep the uh, denture in place. Well, they were scraping up against my gums whenever I took it out, and it, it, it just hurt it a little bit. And it only hurt it for like uh, two minutes or so, and then it kind of went away. But taking them out was like, ah! So I took them back. They kind of shaved them down. She brought them back to me. She put them back in my mouth and she uh, asked me how that feel. At the time, it felt a little better, and I asked her if she can shave it down a little more, and she said, no, it looks perfect right there. It fits perfect. You don't wanna go too far down, and I said, okay. So now, and then she asked me, uh, am I using the fixer down? And she said, I said, uh, I didn't have it on there at the time. I said, no. She said, well, use the fixer then because it acts as a cushion between your gums and the dentures. So I said, okay. And so I started using the fixer then and it did help a little bit. Uh, like today, I put a little more on the bottom than I usually put on so that I can get that cushion and they feel pretty good today. I ain't gonna say pretty good, but they feel better today. Now the top one, when I put that fixer dent on it two days ago, I put too much on there. And let me tell you, when I went to pull them out to clean them, I was tugging. <laughs> I mean, that bad boy was up in there. That bad boy was up in there. And I'm so glad it was the top one and not the bottom one that I experienced this with because the bottom one would have hurt like heck if I couldn't get it out and I had to tug on it. But the top one, I was tugging on it. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't get that bad boy out. I'm serious, I'm looking in the mirror. I was actually at the, uh, my last day at the hotel. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm, oh my God. Anyway, I got it out and then I said, oh God, I can't put that much on there on the top. But anywho, you know, I'm learning. Uh, I think I speak better with them than I did, I guess, three days ago. It's like each day I feel like I'm progressing a little bit. Now, when it comes to the eating part with it, my biggest challenge so far is I can bite down with them, but I haven't eaten anything like hard. I can bite down on them but I chew on the sides. But here's the thing. When you get dentures, this is what I'm noticing. When you get dentures, it's like it occupies 
space in your mouth that and and your tongue doesn't have all the space that it used to have to function with so <clears throat> You have to learn or I have to learn how to manipulate my tongue as well to to be able to speak properly so I'm constantly moving my tongue around I have to kind of learn to settle down and settle my tongue down so that you know just like now I had to take a little break settle my tongue down and it's it's like you know something is in your mouth. You know something is in your mouth. And it's more of a mental thing than anything else, I think, anyway. But anywho, um, I'm getting there. Uh, again, it's only been a week today. I feel like each day I'm speaking better. Um, the eating is probably going to be the most challenging, which is probably the most challenging for anyone who get new dentures is the whole eating aspect it just it feels so awkward eating with them because you feel the food in places that you know and you're wondering if it's going underneath the uh the dentures but these are made pretty good to the shape of my mouth where it's probably i'm not going to say in, it's highly likely that food will get in, up in there, in there. And when you clean them, you got all this food <clears throat> coming from underneath them. So far, I just see little bits of stuff off of them. So they fit pretty good. They pretty close up on my um, the roof of my gums. Oh, excuse me. So to help prevent food from not going down there. And um, it's a work in process. Uh, progress for sure so I'm also I keep forgetting so let me mention this before I forget again to mention the dentist office that I went to in Baltimore I'm going to leave the information in the description for anyone who is in Baltimore or close by and if you contact them let them know that Anthony Matthews sent you there or gave reference there but yeah all right enough about the dental Let's get into my design idea for this minivan. Now, at first I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna just be nice and simple. And then I thought, Anthony, come on now. You, you, gotta, you gotta lay it out a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. So I came up with some ideas. And get, you know how ideas are a visual in your head. But once you get everything and start doing everything, sometimes bits and pieces don't work out as planned. But I do plan on keeping it simple with a little bit of a little bit of flair to it, I guess, so to speak. All right, so let's get into this design idea. I looked at some of my old videos that I did with my minivan, the design that I had in my old minivan, uh, just to see how I had those set up. And I'm going to do a similar thing to one of those because if you can remember those of you who have been around that long when I had the minivan I changed the minivan layout probably six or seven times so I went back and looked at two of those videos and I really liked the design of I like all of the designs but I really uh, like one in particular and that's the one that I'm going to replicate in this one but with some slight changes. There are going to be three main components to this build. The bed platform, then there's going to be a side-to-side -side small table in the back of the seats. And then along this wall behind me, it's going to be another table. Actually, it's going to be like a small platform because I bought something uh, that's going to sit on top of that platform and that's where my kitchen area is going to be so I'll be able to sit on my bed and cook right in front of me now let me talk about the bed for a minute you see this little thing up here in the ceiling that is running straight down the center of the van which takes away some of the height space that I will not have for my bed. 
So to kind of counter that, I'm going to uh, make the legs of the bed five inches tall. Now in my other minivan, the legs were seven inches tall. I had a good clearance underneath. Then uh, this is going to be five inches uh, high. Now the only concern that I want or my main goal for the bed platform is that it's high enough so that I can store all of my camping gear underneath. My gazebo, my canopy, and my chair. That's all I want to put underneath my bed. So my bed is going to be just high enough for that because I have a four inch mattress which I'm going to put on the bed. I'm not going to make this bed six inches because again I need to make sure I have good headspace so that I can sit up on the bed. That's my goal. I want to be able to sit up on the bed and I want to be able to store my camping equipment underneath the bed. Sometimes my eyes just water for no reason. All right, now my kitchen area, I can't tell y'all too much about it. I'm, I'm loving the idea. Um, I made several, several purchases. So when I get back to PA, I'm going to have some things coming in um, almost every day that are part of the build. Now back there from this table that I'm going to put from there to there, straight across the back. Uh, underneath there, I'm going to store my refrigerator as well as my uh, Jackery 2000 Pro. On top of that, I'm going to put two baskets, which are going to be my clothing bath. Uh, baskets. Oh, I said, oh, that didn't come out right. <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> Two baskets. Now, I may change that. I already purchased the baskets off of Amazon. So, hopefully, it will be a good fit. I may have to change it or I may not. We'll see. But, anywho, that's the simplicity of it. Um, so, as far as actually building something, I have to build my bed platform. Now, I'm thinking of putting hinges on my bed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I need it because the equi camp equipment, I can just pull from the back and, you know, use it. So, I may not put hinges on it anyway. But the bed platform should be simple to build. I, I built one before. The table that I'm putting in the back from this end to that end that's just going to be what like this this top sides bottom fridge underneath jackery underneath on top clothing now i got some tinted windows on my van yesterday i took my van to get tinted windows i did not choose dark enough tint the woman asked me she took me over to the board she said you know which one do you want I chose some and then when it was all said and done and they finished it wasn't dark enough so I was kind of bummed out a little bit yesterday about my choosing not a dark enough tent so I'm going to put curtains up around let me just say I'm thinking of putting curtains I want to see which is going to be easier to just put curtains up or to just put some panels up in each window um, maybe the curtains, but I gotta look and see, you know, how I want to hang them if I go by curtains. But that's that. So it's really simple. It shouldn't take me that many days. Uh, Michael is now contemplating or trying to get everything done up his end so that he may want to uh, start the uh, road trip earlier, like the 21st instead of the 25th. So that's going to give me about four, four days or so to do what I need to do here so that um, I can go on that road trip and have the things that I want to have in this minivan. I know that this was a vague description of my layout plans, but I want it to be vague because I want you guys to be surprised and I want when I finish it all that and show you guys that you're like, wow, that looks pretty good now one thing you should know about me is that I'm a very 
visual person. I like things to coordinate and color. I like things to flow. And one of the things that I'm not going to do with this build is overcrowd stuff. I've seen so many minivan uh, tours on YouTube where people have stuff in every nook and cranny. You know, you hear this all the time on YouTube that space, every space is, is valuable space and people's, I don't like that. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna have to move anything to get to something. I want it to be all laid out where I can reach and get that, I can do that, I can do this. Some things are going to have multiple purposes, of course, but I don't want my space to be all overcrowded and this and that because whatever I can't have in here, I'm going to keep my storage unit, but I'm going to downgrade it to a smaller size just to keep the bare necessities and just to have the use of the storage facility because I really like having that use of the storage facility. I really like being able to go there and just chill and I don't have to be at the park all the time or just out randomly on the streets. So it's still going to be worth the monthly expense because it's going to serve for me or benefit my use uh, in this lifestyle. So that's my vague layout plan for the minivan. I'm really excited. I'm going to be here in Baltimore until Sunday, sometime Sunday. And then I'm going to be starting the build on maybe Sunday, depending on what time I get back in PA, but definitely uh, Monday. Because I got to get it done and I have to leave some time for for unexpected things that don't work out according to my vision in my head <laughs> you know how that is but that is it um super excited i'm ready to get on the road and before i leave uh just a quick update on my mom she is coming along she um i was over there with her several hours yesterday um my mom go up and down you know one day she may feel well, the next day she may not feel so good. Yesterday was one of those days where she was like, eh. but I'm going over today. Hopefully she feels better today. I'm going to stop at the grocery store because she wants some soup, but she can't have salt too much. She can't have salt and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to see if the grocery store have some homemade soup that they make instead of buying her some canned soup and get her some soup and hopefully she will feel a lot lot better in the days to come all right guys that's going to be it for today's video as always thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos i appreciate you guys you know that and i'll see you guys the next time